back with another haul. I don't think I've done just like a straight general haul in a while. Obviously the majority of these pieces are gonna be from a small brand or secondhand. I cannot wait to share them with all of you. A very collective spring and summer haul. I'm so excited for the summer. It's really hot today and just like the weather's picking up, the vibes are picking up and these pieces are getting me so excited for the summer. So let's get started. I also wanna give a big thank you to the sponsor of today's video, which is Casetify, and a little bit on them in a bit. So starting off so strong with probably my favorite thing in this whole haul. These are a pair of shoes and something that I've been talking about trying to get hold of for the longest time. I found some buckle boots. I'm so happy I found these and I found them on Vinted. That's honestly my number one place to recommend to go and find some similar boots. I found so many different styles and I end up going for these. I'm pretty sure they're from like Russell and Bromley. I just typed in buckle boots and filtered to my size and just scrolled and like always check the new listings like over a few days and stuff. I really like that they're already worn in so they're really comfy to wear. Like they go with everything. Moving on to one of my favorite pieces and I cannot wait to wear this in the summer, especially on holiday. A knitted boob tube from Lilies of the Valley. I've spoken about them so much on the channel they are such a talented small brand they're based here in London and the owner was so kind and she actually sent it to me I cannot believe that I have it it's amazing the quality is there and I'm going on holiday this week and you best believe I'm packing this I think it's also gonna look really good with a bikini under it too I'm obsessed I love her stuff so much I can't wait for summer next thing I got is another like wish this piece I've been speaking about I actually mentioned that I already bought this on the channel and it's a studded bikini another vintage find honestly vintage has been treating me so well well recently and it's my number one place to go to find interesting secondhand bits. This is originally from St. Bernard. I just typed in stud bikini and I love it. Maybe not everyone's a cup of tea but I think she's so fab and it's just so cool and I really saw quite a few other studded bikinis on Vinted so if you want to get one similar check out Vinted. Before we get any further in the haul I want to give a big thank you to Case Defy for sponsoring today's video. Case Defy is the world's most popular tech accessories brand known for their global collaborations and protective cases and as someone who's been a case to buy customer for years. I was really excited when they reached out because I really believe in their brand. And as someone who also is so sadly attached to their phone as I use it for both work and like relaxation, it's so important for me to protect my phone and make sure that it not only doesn't break or crack, but it also doesn't get stolen, which is a very realistic factor when living in a city such as London. So I'm going to share with you the cases that I picked out with them. I picked out three cases that are all slightly different so I can always change it up depending on like my mood, what I'm feeling. My favourite one is probably this baby blue one because it's made from recycled phone cases and I love that it's clear so I can put different things behind it like stickers and just like memorabilia from places and I have like the dark blue iPhone so it just looks really good I would say with the baby blue. Obsessed and it goes to my top, cute. I also got this green customized one with my name obviously. I love the neon green, I'm such a sucker for neon. And I really wanted a plain one as I actually don't have a black phone case and sometimes I don't wanna make a statement with my phone. So I chose this one which is like, I guess like a deck, I'm pretty sure. And it's got like the black glitter inside. And something which I love about Case to Fi is their phone straps. I've been meaning to get hold of a phone strap for years. My friend Ruby actually has one and she uses it every day. Every time we're out together in London, she's wearing her phone on a phone strap and it's the smartest thing because you don't have to worry about your phone getting stolen, that it may have even just fallen out of your pocket. And now finally, since Case to Buy started making them, I know it's like a brand I can trust and like the quality is really good to help protect my phone. And these are the ones that I chose. They have a range of colors to choose from and I tried to go for a really good mix of like neutrals, but also statement ones if you want to match it to your outfit. This one is definitely my favorite. It really reminds me of classic like Gorp Core and the phone straps are so easy to attach into your case to buy phone case. You just use the little insert into the bottom of the case putting your phone and then attach the rope. It's also so easy to take off if you ever wanna disconnect it from the phone whilst you're like on the go and stuff. I also chose a baby blue one. I'm just such a sucker for baby blue as you can see and I just thought it would match this case perfectly. Like these two together are just obviously meant to be together. I also do see this as like a bit of a neutral. And then the last one that I got, I had to get a khaki one. I love green, I love khaki. I didn't wanna get them to be all too crazy. It's nice to have this one to like make a bit more of a statement and this one can help like blend 
blend in if I wear like more neutral colors or even like my khaki pieces I think it would just look so good case device phone straps can be worn in multiple ways my personal favorite way is across the body I feel like it looks the most secure and it kind of mimics like a bag and because I have this peachy den sling bag I think it really blends into the phone straps and it really reminds me of them which I love I feel like wearing slim bags is so trendy right now and having like a matching one to the slim bag such as this navy one I think looks so good and just like makes it part of the bag and I love the way that they look together so because of that I feel like you can get really creative with the phone straps and like wear them a different ways and like make it a part of the outfit with the other pieces that you're wearing and then like match the strap accordingly to the outfit you can also wear the phone straps across your neck which gives you like easy access to your phone you can even tie them to your bags as well or just hold them securely around your phone and as somebody who's going to be going to festivals this summer I'm probably going to be bringing my iPhone it gives me so much peace of mind knowing I can bring my phone straps with me and not only match to my outfit but also just be really secure and case device phone straps are made from 100% recycled materials and their phone cases are drop test proof up to 9.8 feet which is insane and somebody who's dropped my phone a million times whilst using my case device phone case I've had first-hand experience with how protected these are I'm gonna do a little drop test to just prove this I honestly cannot recommend case device phone cases enough and their accompanying phone straps now I think they're just such a fun accessory they're also really really practical so if you want to go check out case to buy and their endless colorful phone straps and their cases you can check out the link in the description of this video thank you so much to case Buy for sponsoring let's get back to the haul next are a couple things from this outsource clothing pop-up I got these boots and they're in my room I've kind of like barricaded myself in so I actually can't really be bothered to go and get them but these boots are insane they're kind of almost like a denim fabric and the main reason that I bought these was because of the heel high I can't really walk in heels and I really wanted to get more long boots in my wardrobe and I love the distressed details and outsource clothing is one of my favorite small brands she's honestly fab and then something else I got from her pop-up this was from Gigi's clothing how perfect and spring and summer like is this skirt it really reminds me of like a little summer fairy or something it's this little floaty one I'm pretty sure it doesn't have a brand yet I'm really sorry it's brandless but I feel like you can definitely find pieces like this on Depop or wherever you shop secondhand I love the cut of it it's really really cute and I think paired with the outsource clothing boots it's such a good summery look and I think it's going to be so nice for festival season another very classic summery piece this white linen skirt I have quite a few of them as you can see already but they're all very different so that's how I justify it to myself I found this at a charity shop in Notting Hill and I think finding little linen skirts like this at charity shops is the place to go because they're going to be really really good quality and going to be a fraction of the price the brand is this French brand I'm not even going to try and pronounce it but she's really cute she's got like really subtle pleats which is what I loved about it. It's got pockets and then it's got this tie detail to do a little bow at the front. I've even been doing the bows at the sides as well or just leaving them like hanging loose. It fits so nicely. The fabric is incredible and I just cannot rave about this little piece enough. It's gonna be so nice for spring and summer. Honestly, just such a good summer staple and I'm so happy that I found her. Moving on to a couple corsets from Vinted. Honestly, like I said, Vinted has been my favorite place right now. I cannot wait to get a bit of a summer glow. I'm so pasty and pale it's kind of sad but the minute that I get a little bit of a tan I'm gonna be wearing these this to me is so 90s 2000s I absolutely love it I've been listening to a lot of the girls next door podcast and like all of these old girls next door clips and I feel like it's really influencing my style with the 2000s sort of like cutesy like semi-sexy little pieces and I just love this corset so much and the brand is next I feel like they used to do so many cute pieces like this and like look at the little ribbon so nice. I found another corset on Minted. I don't love this one as much as that one, but I still think it's really cute and it's going to be really good, I think, for like an occasion piece or even like Halloween or like a costume. It's this satin pink one. It is really stunning. It's got like the lace trim and the bow and the fabric is really nice and textured with like the dotted fabric. I think she's going to be so nice with like white linen trousers in the summer. Even that like white linen skirt honestly was so much. And she's just so cute. Again, I feel like I need a summer glow you know okay this piece is definitely a gamble and I'm still yet to style her up properly I was gonna wear her the other day but I just knew that I needed like an hour of my life to dedicate towards trying to style this in the best way possible you might hate it you might love it it's this little Calvin Klein like vintage crop top I found it at Portobello market and I spent 15 pounds on this 
That's a joke. Like, that is too much. I took a gamble when I tried it on when I got home. I fell in love with it, and I just knew there was a reason why I wanted to get this. I love the crop fit of the sleeves and the blue details. It's got, like, the 3D velvet lettering of, like, Calvin Klein jeans on the back. I love this. I think it's so quirky and different, and I think it's gonna be a really fun piece to style up for summer, and yeah. Now a couple of things from Sophia and Found. One of my favourite small brands. They're a vintage seller, and she sent me. She keeps sending me great pieces. Pieces, like I just can't. This top I've actually already worn on the channel, but it's this insane corset. This is my corset of dreams. I cannot explain to you how many years I've been looking for a corset like this, where it has like the built-in layered effect going on because of the way that the cups are done. I think it's stunning. I'm such a sucker for gingham. I love all the, the lacy frills and the ribbons. I think it's incredible. Again, a very like Girls Next Door 2000s piece, and I'm just so into this aesthetic right now. Sadly, the label's actually cut out, but I'm sure if you maybe message Sophia and found, she'll let you know if she ever like sources the same one again. It is truly stunning. So it's definitely one of my favorite pieces of 2023 for sure. And I cannot thank Sophia for thinking of me when she found it and sending it my way. Like she just knows my style so well. Another thing that she very kindly sent me is this super sweet ballet style like ruffle wrap top. It's got this insane ruffling on one of the sides, this patchwork detailing. I love pieces like this. I think they're such good layers for spring and summer. They look so good with a white cami top underneath and they're always so needed. So I'm so happy to have another one. Thank you so much, Sophia. I'm gonna share with you some accessories because I'm looking at them on the floor and I'm like, I just gotta talk about them. First couple things is some sunglasses. You can never have enough sunglasses. I've always been such a sunglass collector. The first ones are these. I found them at Portobello Market. The other week and I really love them. I feel like it's my gingery orange hair bringing out my love for orange glasses because I keep picking some up. Then the next pair are from Jimmy Fairley, one of my favorite brands to find glasses. These are the ones I went for, I know they're big, but when you have so many glasses like me, I was like, I have to get a statement pair, especially if they were kindly gifted to me. I was like, we gotta get something crazy, something out of my comfort zone. And I actually think they're kind of fun. They also do them in different um, style, like tortoiseshell frames. Okay, I may as well show you some shoes whilst I'm in the accessories department. I found such cool kit and heels on Vinted. Are you joking? If you watch my channel and you hear about me talk about like athletic numbers and like athletic style pieces like this, you'll know how much these are a bit of me. And they're originally from New Look. Honestly, New Look used to do such good pieces. I don't even know how I found these. I'll put the listing name on screen. I feel like if you wanna find unique kitten heels like these, you just gotta keep it as vague as possible, scroll for hours, like keep updating, and maybe like manifest it because I just had this feeling like I was gonna find some number kitten heels. Now I got two pairs of trainers. The first ones are such a fail, which is so sad because they're so perfect. I found these Gola shoes also from Vinted. I'm loving neon green like this and I love little ugly weird trainers. I think they're perfect and look at that cracking. They were basically brand new when I got them and I've worn them once. One day of walking around for a few hours and the cracking is like unbelievable. It's really crumbling apart. And I feel like there's nothing you can really do when that happens. So I think I'm just gonna get a lot of wear out of them over the next couple months and then probably have to donate them to like a fabric donation or something. Also another pair of shoes I found off of Vinted. I got some more boxing boots. Slight regrets with these because I have so many pairs of shoes now. I'm like, why didn't I just save up more money and get like a more impactful like wow pair of boxing boots but these are like the perfect everyday ones which is kind of why I got them they're obviously from Lonsdale and they're like actual boxing boots and so many people sell these I've also seen people sell them on eBay so if you did want to get them they are like so easy to find like they're honestly great I'm just a bit like why didn't I just wait for a more like interesting pair because to me I'm like these are so boring but to some people they're probably pretty ugly I don't know now on to another amazing small brand Nina Bo Nina Bo sent me some pieces and they are just so creative I mentioned them on the channel before I'm in love with so many of the pieces that she does and she does a lot of knit stuff firstly she sent me two amazing ribbons that she made this one is insane it's like polka dotted and like really sturdy and like properly tied and I think this is gonna be really fun to make like a little flower choker thing and then she sent me this this super long lace and this is actually my favorite kind of lace so I was so happy that she sent this to me I can use this in so many different ways like across my outfit in my hair then she also sent me this in insane knitted beanie hat situation with 
with these pearls. Honestly, I don't even have words. Like the talent is insane. And you know, I've been speaking in my trend videos about mermaid core, siren core. I feel like this honestly is like a city girl siren core piece to me. I think it's because of the pearls and like the incredible dainty mohair fabric. It's unreal. She is so talented. And I'm planning on cutting my hair really short soon. And I think with the little bob with this, it's just gonna look stunning. And it's honestly just unreal. I cannot wait to style this up. And she also uses um, stars in her logo and stars are like my favorite shape. That makes me happy. She also sent me this insane knitted top. Like, this is crazy. I love khaki and I love ribbons. And I think this is gonna be so fun to try and layer up in a million different ways this summer, especially again for festival season. Like that is honestly where my head is right now. Like how I can wear something for a festival and just do something really fun. I love the cutout details that it gives. The last thing that she sent me, which is actually probably my favorite thing because it's just like one of those things you see that you're like, whoa, I was missing this in my wardrobe and I didn't even know it. It's a gingham skirt and it's asymmetric. The possibilities within this skirt is endless. Like I'm actually shook by this. I think this is one of my favorite pieces I've had in my wardrobe this year. It is unreal. The fabric is so nice and it has like these really subtle silver metallic details going throughout it. And I love the asymmetric cut of it because you can wear it in so many different ways. I have this red striped prairie skirt that I know is gonna look so nice underneath this skirt layered up. I think it's so perfect. Again, great for festival season and just summer in general. This has honestly left me shocked i just cannot wait to get wearing this and i just want to give a massive thank you to nina bow again she's one of my favorite small brands she's killing it on to some more accessories i did it i found another big bag this is one of my favorite bags i've ever owned i found it at a charity shop and it is all saints so the quality is incredible i'm pretty sure it's 100 leather and it was 25 quid for an all saints leather bag unreal look at that buckle detail it's crazy i love this bag so much i've been wearing it all the time i love the fit of it the these are exactly the type of bags I'm into at the moment. And I also don't mind that it's black and I feel like it's not very summery color, but honestly, I'm loving all of my dark pieces right now. And I just think this is perfect. And I want to get so many other bags like this. And on the same day that I found that bag, I found this silver grommet belt. It's perfect. The buckle is huge. I love this. It's so indie sleaze. I'm so into metallic details right now. This is honestly like the perfect belt that I was missing. Exactly the type of thing that I'm into right now. I'm so happy that I found it. Also that same day at Portobello Market, I bought some little accessories. I'm really into just adding unnecessary accessories to my outfits. I found this at one of the jewelry stores and it's this hilarious little pin of these like little heels. How funny is that? I just thought she would be so cute on like a crossbody bag strap or on like a belt or something like that. I just want to add loads of charms. There was this picture from Donna Villarino where she'd made this belt and added loads of badges and that sort of set me off being like, I need to up my random trinkets game. Attaching things to accessories this summer. Also at Portobello, they have a guy that sells loads of badges. It was extortionate for the price of them. Like he was a joke and he just would not bargain down. I think I managed to get, oh, I don't even know how much I paid, you know? But I remember just being like, this is a joke, but I wanted them so badly that I caved and I got them. Firstly, I got this little pucker one. Look how cute that is. She is just adorable. And she reminds me of my childhood. And I just saw that and I was like, I can't pass it up. Then I got that because I'm really, really sweet. So just have to remind everybody. And then I got this little one, which I'm gonna have to blur out, but she's just so funny. I think you can imagine what it says there. I want them like all layered up on something, on a jacket, on a bag strap, like just perfect. The next piece is also very summery and it's from Past Trash, one of my favorite shops here in London. They are like vintage sellers that open up a shop in Covent Garden. And look at this fun little skirt, it's asymmetric. It's got like the little fun polka dot design and the ribbon on the side. And this originally came with a matching top and they put it on their story and I fell in love with it and I thought, there's no way when I'm going to pass trash like in a week, it's still gonna be there. The top was gone, but the skirt was still here. And I cannot believe somebody didn't buy the matching skirt. Like, what are they playing at? And I'm kind of hoping that maybe one day I'm gonna find the matching top because I think with the matching top, it would just be such a cool summer piece. Another thing from Minted and something that I've been hunting after for such a long time, I'm loving like the really high neck turtleneck halter necks. I think they just look so flattering. And I found this little silky gray one. I love it. I think it's the perfect piece to wear to 
more smart occasion or like going out on holiday to like a really nice meal, going out for drinks. I just thought it was the perfect piece that I'm missing in my wardrobe. I really love this and it's definitely one of my favorite things I've ever found on Vinted and the brand is Miso. Now I want to share some things from Peachy Den. Peachy Den are one of my favorite small brands. I love their stuff so much. I'm like the biggest advocate for them. And all of these things were gifted from them, which is crazy. I'll start with the stuff that I got from their sample sale. The first thing I got the sample sale was the Billy bag. I've been hunting after this bag for a while. They also did a Billy bag event where you could get the bag for five pounds. I queued up for like three hours to get that bag and I missed the ones that they were selling for five pounds by one person one person in the queue in front of me. If they weren't there, I would have got this bag. Do you know how sad that is? And I had to stand there and see them walk out with the bag and then tell me like, you're too late babe. Like one person too late. But I finally got hold of one and she's so cute. She's very flimsy and thin. So I feel like she's really good for something like a picnic or like a beach bag. I love the tartan fabric. I guess so many compliments on her as well. Something else that I got from the sample sale is a swimsuit. Their sample sales are so good for accessories and swimsuits. And I went for this full body, really like khaki green, olive green one. And I love it so much. It's covered in beads. Also from their sample sale, I got hold of the one-off pieces that they did in collab with Fiona. She's an artist and she came and like screen printed a bunch of their memes. and I never actually got hold of them and then they were at the sample sale as they had like a rip in them and of course I had to get them. I just sewed up the rip. I think they're amazing. I love the memes. Like I have these exact ones without the tartan but that proves how good these trousers are. Like I say it a lot but if you haven't already got a pair of memes and you really like this stuff, of cargoes I think you should really look into getting a pair because they're just such a good everyday staple then from their pop-up I picked out their Mimi skirt I actually got this in a size large so it would fit super low waisted because I think it kind of meant to fit high waisted and I love the fit of it I think it's such a good piece for summer and I love it it's the comfiest skirt for summer and I see so many of my friends wearing this style as well and I feel like it's just such a versatile piece and then the last thing from Peachy Den I chose this little lace Cami top. They're doing a lot of lace at the moment, which I love. And I just fell in love with this. The fit of it is so flattering. And it comes with these other straps that you can tie in loads of different ways. I like having them loose or tying them as bows. And I just need an occasion to wear this out, you know? I feel like she's also calling for a bit of a summer glow. This jacket, if you watched my last video, you would have already seen this. I picked this up from Portobello Market from the seller Poppy's World. Definitely my favorite seller at Portobello. Molly, the owner, is just a sweet girl and I feel like Molly you're probably watching this so hey girl I'm so into butter yellow and although it's not like exactly butter yellow I feel like she's on the way and it has a double zip which always sells me if I like a jacket and it has a double zip I'll automatically want to buy it it's very like Harrington jacket mod style and I just really really like it and I thought it'd be such a good summer jacket another small brand and one new to the channel this is from Kissimmee my friend Mimi started this brand Kissimmee how adorable it's also like backless and you can wear it probably a bunch of way so you could definitely wear it this way over like a white baby tee or something it's stunning and she does a lot with lace and they do like a matching skirt which is so nice and I cannot thank Mimi enough for sending this to me like you're so sweet and I'm so excited to get wearing this so love you Mimi okay I feel like we've ticked so many boxes in this video of things that I've been talking about that I've wanted to find here's another one some big baggy shorts I said I really wanted more of these and I picked these up at the weekend I'm so happy with them they are khaki green a ACG shorts and I'm just obsessed with all of this hardware detail it's got like this buckle fastening here it's got the pockets on the side and on the back I love the little subtle orange details and when I was in the store I was wearing my long boxing boots and I actually think they look so good with them and I think the idea of wearing like a really long boot like that with these is just perfect and I really want to try and wear them with these because that would be a dream if they work together but honestly this is very like streetwear gawk core style and She's not, so I don't really know how that's gonna work. But I got these from Woodward, which is a shop in Soho, and they had a massive 80% sale. These are a size men's medium, if you're wondering, and I got such a good deal. I got these for 18 pounds. Another amazing piece by another amazing small brand. This haul is honestly unreal. Like, 
I cannot believe it. This is from Nippy Studios. I bought their martini off the shoulder long sleeve. I'm obsessed with this. It's such a good example of an elevated basic and I really invested in it. Honestly, their quality is incredible. I know their prices are slightly higher, but they are so worth the money. Cannot rave about them enough. They're sustainably made here in London. Daisy and Emily who run the brand are the sweetest girls and they're just the best and I absolutely love this top. It is so flattering. Such a good dream staple piece for your wardrobe. I cannot rave about Nippy and this piece in particular enough. It's probably my favourite piece I've ever got from them. Unreal. This is another piece that I got from Portobello Market. Honestly, Portobello Market always hits for me. I always find really good stuff. This is originally from United Colours of Benetton and it's this really cute denim flippy skirt. I just washed it and it's like drying so I feel like it's got that annoying like denim stiffness. She needs to like be worn in a bit more but this is really cute and it's got the suede pocket panelling. It's very short but I feel like it's the good amount of short of like I can make it work. I can wear some shorts underneath. I can layer it over another skirt and it's just going to be so nice for festival season. Next are a couple pieces from Enrage. Again one of my favourite small brands. The team there are so sweet and they sent me some more pieces. These have become two of my most worn pieces. These trackies in particular. I need to get a debobbler on them because my washing machine is so bad for bobbling my clothes and I hope you can't really see but these are my favourite staple trackies I've ever had. I cannot recommend these trackies enough. As somebody who loves to wear comfies especially to work or chilling at home running an errand these are the perfect ones the fit of them they're the perfect amount of baggy i love the straight leg fit i can't thank enraged enough for sending them to me because they've literally changed the game for me i wear them pretty much every day to work trust me. Also from them, I picked out this little star cardigan. Cardigan? Yeah, cardigan. I love cardigans like this. I really want to get into wearing them more and since I've got this, I wear it all the time. Again, such a good comfy piece. Really good for like traveling and stuff and just such a good staple. Like I absolutely love this and the star print is just really fun. It's made up of mohair, wool and nylon. Okay, I then found a couple leopard print pieces. I don't know why but I've been really into leopard print and maybe it's actually my hair. I feel like the orangeness in this just just, like brings out that side and now that I have two leopard print tops like this I kind of think I should sell one because I don't need to but the first one I got is this I think I got it off of Vinted and I think it's originally from Mango and it's this little one it's so flattering I love the fit of it you can see this like ruching around the stomach area which just like pulls it in slightly at the sides and it's so nice again I think with a tan like if I'm gonna sell it I don't want to sell it anytime soon I want to wait till I have a nice tan and I can like fully see it in it, all of its glory then I found this one at Past Trash. Honestly, every time I go in, I end up buying something because it's just too good. The brand is Denny Rose and it's this silky one. Very different style to that one. Like literally the leopard print is completely different. This one is like way more typical animal print and I just fell in love with it. I think they're really cute and I feel like I was never normally a leopard print person, but now I love them. Okay, moving on. This piece I got from Cal Vintage in Leeds. And the brand is Style & Co. But I just fell in love with it. It's a little leopard print denim jacket. I love leopard print, as you can see. And just something about this I really liked. It's kind of giving indie sleeves. And I'm so glad that I came across it. And I just love, like, the muted leopard print. Just something about this. I was like, I really like it. Okay, I'm on to my last few things. Which are actually from Vendimia. The brand that I, like, freelance work for. And I'm working on a little project with them soon and as part of that project I picked out a few pieces and I wasn't gonna show it but then I'm like I'm just gonna show it and you're gonna see these pieces and more possibly in a video soon we shall see but I'm going on a trip this week and I thought it would be the perfect time to just like give them a moment basically because they're super summary the first thing that I chose are so indie sleeves and they're these little camo kind of like booty shorts I guess they're like a bit longer than booty shorts I love the way they fit on me they're very like baggy low-waisted which is exactly how I like to wear kind of anything to be honest and they have this little like lace silky details on the pockets I love them really unique they're fab and this is why I love vintage brands like look at that logo and that label it's really cool the brand is angry six then lastly from vendimia i picked up a couple crochet pieces to me summer means crochet so i had to go for these the first one is this white long sleeve i've been after a crochet piece like this for so long and i can't believe that i finally have one i love the big doily style detail on it what is the brand cortez costez 
or something, I think. Then I had to get this. It's so nice. I don't have any like longer crochet skirts and it's a really nice bright yellow color. It's got the slits on the side and the tie details at the top so you can make it super flattering and ruched. And I'm going away this weekend and I just cannot wait to get the sun with my new pieces. Thank you all so much for watching. I had so much fun sharing these pieces with you. I want to hear what you're loving, what's your favorite thing that's in your spring and summer wardrobe. I will catch you in my next video. Subscribe down below if you haven't already and follow me on my social media. Thank you, it's just become a big thing. Wait, it's only two sentences, so...